adjust to the athleticism and just the length of the Division One level. And, um, you know, just the overall speed of the game, I think that, that has given them some concerns in the past. But, you know, hopefully, um, you know, this can serve as a hallmark to what he can do um, for the remainder of the year. Yeah, just imagine, Coach, you get the same performance you get from Stanton, from Jeremy, um, from the previous games, and then Ray has the game that he had tonight, and then you have someone like an Antonin coming off the bench, hitting three or four three-pointers. That's a deadly weapon, and, and you know, you've been that type of player before. What does that do to a team? Well, it stretches the defense, and it, it prevents teams from collapsing and uh, helping and, and just pretty much doubling um, down on our post guys. You know, one of the primary concerns, we've been playing pretty well, but one of my concerns was after the game, I look and sometimes we only have two or three guys in, in double figures. In conference time, the tension is so thick that you can pretty much cut it with a knife. And oftentimes some, some, some players just may have it, may not have it that night. And we need other guys on this bench that's more than capable of stepping up to step up. He certainly did that tonight. Stanton Kidd got his third career double-double here at NCCU, and he's been so close to that over the last few ball games. But what does he bring to the table uh, that he's been doing over the last few weeks? It's funny you say that. I just I just got on him pretty bad about how awful he played, and then he got a double-double. So, you know, that kind of stole my thunder away. I see he out here waiting to uh, interview. But he's more than capable. I think right now Stanton is playing off what God has given him, and, and he has to get over that, that hump where – you know, he's buying in and he, he's bought in, but he has to adjust to the fundamentals of, of basketball. And I think that makes the game easier for him. And, that, and that's the point he has to get to. Manuel Chapman, another double-figure effort in the assist category for the seventh time here in North Carolina Central. He eclipsed the 300 mark in assists, making him the fifth eagle to do that all the time. Coach, and we talked about this in the pregame, about what he brings to the table and what type of player he is. And you could see he started a rally on his own with his effort when we got on a little run in the half. And it just shows you the type of player he is. Well, he keeps everyone happy. Um, you know, he's the key ingredient. You know, if, if we were making some spaghetti, he'll be that, that <laughs> special sauce that you add that you don't tell anyone about. Man. So we're certainly thankful for him. And, um, you know, he, his unselfishness um, is pretty much infectious amongst this team. Well, Coach, I don't think I've ever heard that analogy. Well, that's a pretty good one uh, when it t comes to talking about Pooby. Just the win in general, as you get ready to head down to Florida, it's got to be good. Two wins in a row, eight and seven, heading into the, the vaunted road trip down to Florida. I mean, we're heading in the right direction, and now we got to just stay focused? Got to stay focused. It's one day at a time. We're still not a sexy team, and, you know, we just have to continue to get it down on the defensive end of the floor and get out in transition and create some easy baskets for ourselves. You know, conference time, they know what we're doing. We know what they're doing, so it's just all about execution and the intangibles. Coach, congratulations on the win, and uh, we'll talk to you before we head down to Tallahassee for a huge, huge ball game against Florida A&M. All right, thanks a lot, Chris. As we bring on tonight's A-plus performer, Antonin Galea. He had a game high, 18 points, six for eight from three-point range. And again, the Eagles tied the most three-pointers as a team since that unbelievable overtime victory over North Carolina A&T where they shot 12 of 24 from three-point range in the 90-84 win in the game in which C.J. Wilkerson, who was in attendance here at the game tonight, had 40 three points. Antonin, congratulations on the effort tonight. You're tonight's A-plus performer. I mean, this is, you know, we saw it on YouTube with you at State Fair hitting eight threes in a ball game. And, and you came in, I guess, with the pressure of people, you know, this guy can shoot the three, this guy to shoot the three. It just kind of took you some time to get comfortable, and you looked really comfortable out there tonight. Yeah, it's a, it's a new process, you know. It's a new team, it's a new coach, it's a new way to play. So um, it took me a little longer than expected to, um, to get out there, but... With you know, the confidence of the coach, the confidence of my teammates, I was able to come out tonight and be successful behind three. How's it feel? It feels good. You know, I kind of, I kind of feel relieved that you know that pressure of the first game where I played well, and I'm thankful for my teammates and I'm really thankful for my coach to put me out there. You know, in a great setup for me to do that today. You know, what's interesting, and you, and you, you seem like the type of guy after one of the games. I can't remember which game it was. You were in here the gym, working your tail off, still shooting. And you've continued to work at it, even in practice. I mean, I've seen you hit six, seven threes in a row, and the coaching staff continues to talk to you and give you confidence. And again, you've been adjusting to the game here. Um, and just to have a night like this, 
it's only going to give you confidence moving forward, but it really seems like the Winthrop game is where you've really started to get that confidence. You hit that big three in the first half. Yeah, it was, uh, I think for everybody, that win really, I think, gave us a really good confidence. And uh, not only me, but all, all my other teammates, we really felt like we could do something and that we proved it that game. So now it's a matter of building from that and getting better. That's what, you know, that's what it was the emphasis today was to get better, not moving forward and not backwards. So I think we've done that tonight. And uh, like I said, I'm appreciative, from, I'm appreciative for my teammates and my coaches. Now you also showed you got a little bit of a defensive flair. Five rebounds, two steals on the night, along with a block. I mean, again, you're showing because of how comfortable you've gotten, you're showing you can do it on both sides of the floor. Yeah, I think that's the biggest uh, improvement I've made this year was my, uh, on the defensive end of the court. You know, the coaches really pushed me every day at practice to get better at this at, on this side because you can't play offense if you can't play defense. So they really taught me well, you know, in the first part of the season to really put me out there, you know, play hard in defense, be in the gap, you know, in all the places so I can, you know, be on the court and do my thing offensively. So I'm appreciative for that. I need you to help me, though, real quick. If And, and you may have to teach me this on the bus on the way down to Tallahassee. If you're going to start hitting these threes, you, considering that you speak French, I have to speak some French. So we it, we got to find out whether we say nothing but net or that's a sweet shot. We'll figure that out. Right, exactly. So say nothing but net in French just so I can maybe figure out what I'm going to have to say. Well, actually, we say nothing but net in French. When you, when you, make, when you make it, we say nothing but net. Okay, With so a very big French accent, yeah. but it's still the same. That's good. Really? There's, no, there's nothing. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. There's nothing but net. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, Anthony, again, congratulations on the, the effort here tonight. Congratulations on the win. And we'll talk to you as we uh, get set to head down to Tallahassee for the big road trip, back in conference play. But before we let you go, just the thoughts of jumping back into league play. Uh, it's, you know, it's really something that I'm looking forward to. You know, we have a chance to do something special. You know, the coaches told us about that, whether, you know, the wins at Winthrop or whatever, that's kind of puts it out there. But before that, we knew that we have a chance this year to do something special. And uh, so we're going to go with a lot of confidence on Saturday and try to get the first win in conference. But uh, we really believe that in conference we can do something that wasn't done here before.